Steve here again. Uh, further uh, video on my Easy Build coach. This is the roof of the uh, second open. Uh, inside the roof, there's a like a ridge runs down all in the inside, and you put these. Um, what do they call them? I suppose you call them uh, the alloy uh, tapped nuts. I suppose they slide in there because there's nice nuts, uh, nice bolts will go through the floor to hold the roof captive. This is a roof I'm just about ready to spray. I put all the vents on. Um, but in the instructions, it, there's a diagram uh, it tells you uh, where to put all the vents. So I put some uh, masking tape on and drew some lines up and then measured them all out and drilled holes. So I've done that. There's a water filler to go on, which goes in, it will go in just there. But you don't put that on. I won't put that on till last because there's wire going there, and I won't. I won't glue that in. These have been super glued in. Now, while I go to talk about the roof, I actually want to talk about the ends. Although this is an end of another coach, one I haven't even started yet. Notice how thick that top is. That's how thick that is. Now. When you put a roof, if you were to put that on a, here's a, here's a roof from another coach, a pristine roof. If I was to put that on there, it won't sit down. It won't sit in because it's, because it's, what I've done is I've actually, like almost like a, with a uh, peeling action, like, a, like you're peeling a spud. Sorry about that, camera work. It's a bit windy out here. Um, I shaved off with a Stanley knife some of the inside and then put a chamfer on it. Uh, also in the roof there's a slight ridge along there which is there for obviously so the sides sit against it but at the end you've just got to file some of that back. Also and I suppose it's because of some of the moulding process this plastic here comes out to a tip and you've got to get rid of that otherwise the roof won't sit down. I've done oh, so I've done that on the ones I've uh, um, on this coach. I've also handed the sorry, I've also handed the end so I know which ones go on what end. Uh, the other thing is I'll get rid of this one. And I won't go on too much about the ends. The ends both come are both the same. Uh, Note how this one, I've, I've shaved off uh, this lug there, plastic, that and that, and you, the instructions tell you to do that, because this one's going to have the communication gear on it, and the uh, pipe will went down to the vacuum pipe. This one is only on one end, so you've got to get rid of this. Uh, I won't say any more about those, I'm just going to go and spray this roof with some primer now. Okay, get out of the way dog, in case you get sprayed. So I've got the roof on my trusty turntable. Got my uh, primer. I've had a bit of a limber up, let's take my watch off, it shakes all around the place. I've done the inside by the way, just show you. There you go, that's done. And what I'll do, I'm not going to spray that with an airbrush, I'm not a mug. I'll just go up the hardware store and get some uh, satin... Uh, satin white uh, spray enamel. Same for the roof, I'll just, I'll just get a can of um, spray tin of uh, dark grey and uh, that way you can do a lot of roofs and it's certainly cheaper than buying paint and easier. Now, let's, let's see here we go. I might get a few blemishes because of where the super glue was, that doesn't matter.
らっしゃい。Couple of minor Nothing I can't fix up. Nothing at all. As you can see, you can see that hole there, that hole there, that's for the、uh, water vent filler, tank filler, I should say. Thanks for watching.